Okay, so are you looking to do a smooth surface or are you looking for it to be kind of a modeled surface? Well, this what surface kind of here, this is a rustic finish because okay. this is a thicker, it's a coarser finish. Okay. It's commercial. It's meant to go faster. It's meant to uh, be harder on the wall. You can actually hit this in the wall and other clays will stay on the wall and you have to add um, mud glue or something to make it harder. Whereas this is naturally, I believe, stronger than the other ones. Okay. Okay. Um, but this is a smoother finish. This, by the way, I'm doing it right now. You can do it. There's a million finishes you can do. Rustic, you can do skip trial, which means I just push it on here in different areas and just come back and forth. So it looks like a stone wall, let's say. Oh, okay. So right. it's sort of like a faux finish? Okay. Right, exactly. Okay. So there's a million things you can do with this. And actually, this finish here is the natural finish. Okay. There's no minerals, no color, nothing. This is the way it comes out of the bag and gets mixed. Okay, okay, so this is the actual but color. But you can do any color. Color, you can yes. Colors. There's over 200 colors you can do with this. And America Clay actually will do a custom color if you want. There's a certain fee for it, but they will match any color you want. They're very talented with American Clay, and this is what they do. Now, something I didn't mention before is this wall, I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but we primed it with um, the American Clay primer, and I also had my own primer, which I put marble dust in it, and it creates a, a like sandy finish. So it's hard. Okay. Now with this, does it creates teeth or a grip for as I'm troweling it, it sticks to the wall. So when I'm coming over with my trowel, it sticks. It makes it easier to grab. Okay. Okay, or it makes it, I don't know about easier, it just makes it so it's something for the clay to grab onto. Okay. Now you don't have to do this because I use the Prime Plus. Okay. But I like to take precaution and do this and the Prime Plus this way. I don't have to come back and worry about it peeling or something happening. Okay. Now this primer went over sheetrock that was new with plaster, so that's the other reason I did it too. Okay. So this way the absorption of the clay, I mean the plaster from the clay is not as much an area. Because if I didn't prime it, it would absorb more in these corners where the plaster is than here on top of the clay. Okay. So this gives it an even finish. All right. Okay. Now here I've been sitting here for two or three minutes, I didn't do anything here. Uh -huh. This is fine, it's still wet. Okay. So there's no problem. It's just you don't want this to dry and then come back. Okay. And still, it's still drying. So what I'm going to do is grab more clay. 